Good morning, everybody. Morning. Good morning. So here I am again, and we are looking again at rounding numbers. So in our last lesson, we spoke about rounding off to the nearest ten, right? And we practice to count by tens. So let's go: zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. Now we're going to take our breath and try to hold it this time to count. Let's go. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Woo! That was it. I didn't manage my breath, um, well, control my breath well. All right. So to get, in our lesson the day before, we just worked with um, rounding numbers that were within z between 0 and 100, right? Today we want to step over so you can see that we can round any number to the nearest um, 10, be it a one digit number, two digit numbers, or three digit numbers, or even more. We can round numbers to the nearest 10. So we're gonna step it up today. All right, are you ready for that? Yay. Let's do a quick revision. If we have 16, 16 comes between what two tens? Look at the numbers to help you. 10 and 20. 10 and 20, and 16 is closer to 10 or 20. 20. It's closer to 20. So we will round off 16. And if so if we have 16 mangoes, we could say I have about 20 mangoes. That's what the rounding off does. That is how we use it in regular life. So another word. So yesterday we learned, Troy, you can't speak when I'm speaking. Yesterday we learned about, we learned a new word. We said rounding was like estimating, right? So when we round, we call, here's a word that just a P P. What do you think I'm gonna write? Uh, uh, approximate. Yes. So yes. So we know about approximate. So yes. So approximately. You know, no, I use that word. Approximately. So we have 16 bananas. We could say I have approximately. Let's put on our L Y. L Y words are called what again? L Y words. Add okay. adverbs, adverbs approximately. Adverbs. Okay, so 16, we have 16 mangoes. 16. We can say I have approximately 20 mangoes. I only need how many more to make 20? Four. Four. So I am closer to 20 than I am. I'm further away from 10, but I'm closer to 20. All right, what about this one? Let's see. Mm. If I have three mangoes, I'm rounding this off to the nearest 10. I have three mangoes. I might as well say I have approximately... One. Focus, pay attention and focus. No guessing in my class. You have all the tools to think. No guessing in my class. All right? So pay attention. Look what is happening and focus. So we know what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at three. Isn't that what we do? So we have steps that we use, right? You understand? So we look at three and then what's the next thing we ask ourselves? Between what two tens would this number fall? So pay attention and make sure you're asking the, um, that question. So between what two, so I don't have to ask a question for you. And I'm not going to keep on asking it. I want you to ask it, okay? So it falls between what two? Zero and ten. Zero and ten. So is three closer to zero? Or is it closer to 10? Zero. So if I have, if I only get 3% in the spelling test, I can say I have gotten approximately 0%. Do we see that? If I only save $3 for the whole year, I can say I have saved approximately $0. Do we like the zero business? Wow. We don't like the zero business, so we're going to work to get it to the other tens, other tens, right? Amazing. So I want today to work with numbers over um, 100. Right? We're still rounding off to the nearest tens. So look what I'm going to do to just, we're just going to add the 100 because we know that 100 numbers have how many digits? Three. Yes, 100 numbers have, let me see, three? Three, three digits. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been counting out three and put up four? Or put up two? It happens to me sometimes, you know, especially since I go so fast. But thank God I did put up three, three today. So three digits. So I added my digits here. So this place value is, this is what? Um, 
Okay. This is ones, Nine. this is tens, and this is hundred. Are you paying attention, madam? Make sure you pay attention. Remember that as a teacher, there are some things, though I love you all, that I cannot do for you. I am the teacher, you are the what? Learner. And there are responsibilities for the learner. So the learner must look. What is your responsibility to? Look. Can I look for you? No. No, no matter how I try, I cannot look for you. A learner must listen. Can I listen for you? No. No, I talk and you listen. I'm showing and you look. You must what? Ask questions when you don't understand. That's what the learner does. Did you know that's what the learner does? I can't do any of those for, for you. But there's one thing I will do. I'm going to teach. I'm going to teach hard and I'm going to teach well. So are you going to play your part? Are you going to play your part? Okay, good. All right, so we, let's go our pets value positions again. This is ones, tens, hundreds. So let's put in some more hundred. We're still counting by tens. Remember that? What is going on with this? I don't like how this is working. So let me change it. Allow me to change it. So let's go. We're counting by tens. 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. Yes, let's go again. We need to practice. Uh, let's go. 100. So let's start from zero all the way up to where we're, we work to, to this. So let's go. You know what I'm going to do with this? Let me make it into. 100. How about that? You're a little bit more believable. So let's start from zero. Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. Let's go on. 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, then 300. And we can go on and on like that. Is everyone with me? Are you with me? Think they are? Okay, let's go. So we're going to be rounding off three digit numbers now to the nearest 10. So if I have 108, what is this number? 108. What's in that bag? That's more important than what's going on on, this, on the board here. Remember, the learner's job is to pay attention. I cannot pay attention for you. So if you don't do what learners do, you won't learn. There's no magic in my class. Do we get it? So let's go. What number is this? 108. Again, this is 108. 108. Between what two numbers would this come? 108. All right. So, so this um, learner says 108 comes between 180 and 100 and what? And 70. So this learner says 108 comes between 180 and 170. So let's see what could cause it to be seen like that. What is this number? You tell me what this number is all by yourself. 108. This is 108. What is this number? 180. So let's find 180 on the thing here. This is 180. This is 170. This is 170. So you're saying this will come somewhere between here. He's convinced. So let us help him to see. Let us see if he is right or if he is wrong. So let us count from 170 to 180 and see if we hear this number there. Okay, let's go. 170, 171, 172, 173, 174, 175, 176, 177, 178, 
179, 180. Did we hear this? No. Did we hear this? No. Are you changing your mind? He's changing his mind. Okay. Okay. So it will not come between 170 and 180. Okay, sir. What are you saying? It will come between 120 and 110. All right. So he thinks that 108 will come between 110 and 120. Is he correct? If you're not sure, that's okay. We can check it. So let's go. 110, 111, 112, 113, 100. Am I the only one counting? Stop. Let's go again. 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 16, 117, 118, 119, 100. 120. Did we hear this number? No. Oh my gosh, it's like we're playing go fishing. All right, what? Two tens? Yes, ma'am. It would come between 100 and 110. All right, between 100 and 110. Let's check to see if she's right. 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. 106, 107, 108. Did we get it? Amazing. So 108 will come between 100 and 110. Now, here's a question. Which one is it closer to? Is it closer to 100 or to 110? 110. Okay, it's closer to 110. So if I have $108, I can say I have approximately $110. Are we understanding that? So this is a way you could also set out yours. Set it like that, put the tens it comes between, and you'll figure which one it's closer to. Do we understand that? Do we need to try more examples? Yes. All right, no problem. We can try more examples. I like that. All right. Huh. What we learn? Number B. Let's see a number here. Hmm. What about 92? What two numbers counted by tens would 92 fall between? Yes. Give me one of those numbers. We said how much? One of the numbers and he gave me two. But you know what? Let's work with his two. He says 80 and 90. So, whoo, when we're done, we're all slim. So let's go, let's go. We're counting to find 92. Let's go. 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 92? No. Was it correct? No. Oh no. So we'll have to try again. Woo. What two numbers? 90, 90 and 100. 90 and 100. Let's go counting. 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. Did we hear 92? Read it? Okay, so this is correct. Now, you tell me, he's just looking at us. He's not even dancing and counting with us, he's just looking. So you will have to tell me which of these 92 is closer to. Devante. Okay, so Devante says 92 is closer to 100. Oh no, when we get an answer, we don't squeal. We try it out, we test. So let's just write, let's go. 90, 91, 92, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So let's find 92. Here is 92. Let's find the two tens. Put a box around them. 90 and 100. Yes, Connor? Oh, you're remembering something? Okay, good. Just allow us to find this, and then we'll come back to you, okay? So here is 90. What is this? 90. Troy, are we looking? 90. Remember, the teacher can't look for you. 
100. This is the number we are trying to approximate, right? Yeah. So 92. And he says 92 is closer to 100. And some persons are saying no. So let's do, do hops. Let's hop. One. Let's make the hops. One. Two. two. How many hops did we make? Two. Alright, so we're going to hop from 92 to 100 to see if it, the journey is closer. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need two hops to come this way, eight hops to go that way. Ninety-two is closer to what? Ninety. It's closer to ninety. So if I have ninety-two marked, I could say I have approximately ninety percent. Do we understand that? Everybody's understanding that? Do you understand that? All right, let's go. What about you trying some for me now? Are you ready to try some for me? Yes. Okay, let me give you your instruction. Let's check what we have. We are rounding 48 to the nearest 10. 48 comes between what two tens? Between what two tens? 48 and 40. 48? 40 and 50. 40 and 50. So we round this to? This is approximately 50. 124 comes between what? 120 and 130. We're going to round it to? Approximately 120. 169 comes between 160 and 170. This is closer to? 170. 170. We have 101 comes between 100 and 110. It's closer to? 100. 100. We have 172 comes between 170 and 180. 172 is closer to 170. All right, come with me. Let us read some words we have been calling. This word is? 10. This word is? 20. Okay, how many vowels do we hear in this word? 10. One. Vowel. vowel. What is the name of the vowel we, we have in that word? What is the name of the vowel? E. E is the name of a vowel? Okay, pay attention to instructions given or questions asked. What is the name of the vowel in that word? E. E says? E. How many syllables in this word? One. How many syllables? One. One. Okay, what's this word? Twenty. This word is twenty. Alright, so let's pay attention to TW. TW says? Tool. What it says? Tool. tool. Do you know any other word that begins with this sound? Tool? What could that be? Tweet. Tweet. Good job. Yes? Twice. Twice. One more word. Twin. 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 Very good. Or twinkle. Good job. So this word is twenty. Let's call the word twenty. Do you remember to hear that same vowel sound we heard up here? Yes. Twen. Twen. Twent. Twenty. Do we see that? Let's call the word again. Twenty. How many syllables in the word twenty? Twenty-two. There are two. It sounds like you're saying twenty-two, huh? Eh? But you're calling your word first. Good. Let's call the word twenty. 20. How many syllables we heard? Two. How many syllables we heard? Two. How many syllables we heard? Two. Two syllables. All right. What's this word? Thirty. We have thirty. Okay, let's check to see our special elements. We want to look at TH. TH says, come put that tongue between the teeth and let's go. Again, again, and then we have IR. IR says, IR says, R. So let's read. 30. Again, 30. Is there any other combination of letters that give, would give us the er sound? What's that? Irregular. What combination of letters would give us the er sound? Yeah. What combination of letters would give us the er sound? I and R. We already have I and R. 
Do we have any other combination of letters that would give us er? Yes. U and R. U and R. U R says er. er as in what word? Turn. Turn. Very good. Any other combination? So we have I R and you have said U R. Any more? E R. E R. E R says er. er as in verb. Remember we spoke about the verb in our last class? Okay, good. Let's look here. What do we see that we could highlight? O R. O R says? Or. Or. So this is 40. Make sure you call this word properly because too many children say 40. Alright, so let's go. 40. Let's go. 40. Again, let's say 40. Alright, what's this one? 50. We're hearing a different vowel sound in here. What's the vowel sound we're hearing? E. 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 So the vowel sound is E. e. What vowel makes the sound E? I. I. And sometimes Y. Alright. This is 60. This is 70. How many syllables are we hearing in 70? How many? Three. So let's go. 70. Okay. We hear we hear two sounds. Over here, what are we going to focus on? E I G H. What does that say? E. Uh-huh. E I G H says what? A. But it says A. So let's read A C. Again. A C. Let's read this word. And this one? Hundred. Hundred. Give yourself a hand. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, see you next time, I think. When we come again, we could go on to rounding numbers to the nearest hundred. Do we want to do that? Yes. Alright, so get ready for that lesson. See you soon. Okay.